Hello there, I'm Barry of barry-wales.com and this video is to show you how to add an opt-in form to your blog posts yeah and you add it once by way of a plugin and this will add it to every post okay a bit like this see I've got my name email and that goes beneath every post okay there's a little bit of spiel here okay right so we get the plugin first of all from Dagon Designs I will add a link to this um, because as you can see it's dagondesigns.com forward slash articles forward slash add hyphen signature hyphen plugin hyphen for hyphen WordPress so I've created a bitly signature for that okay so the first thing you need to do is download the latest release okay so simply right click save link as now what you need to do I'm going to download it to my desktop in fact I've already downloaded it to my desktop but what you need to do is in this box here where it's got .txt you need to take out the txt and add php okay and then you would click save okay I've already got it on my desktop so I'm not going to save it okay I'll click cancel okay once you've done that then come over to Aweber you need to be logged in obviously choose your list from this one and then click web form over here okay click create new form now we're on a new form and this template is automatically added okay we don't like that that's not the one we want go to popular select basic load template now we don't want the header because this is going on every blog post so we want to make it as small as we possibly can so we take all of this out and this out okay you can edit the submit button to say what you wish um, you just simply type in there um, what should we say count me in there you go that will do for now okay you can resize if you wish yeah let's go submit button okay if you come over here you can change the position see there you can dial it about you can put it where you want okay it's obviously better in the center and you can resize your boxes make it look a bit prettier perhaps take that over there okay any way you want it okay just play about with it click save web form come down scroll across go to step two okay um, give it a give it a name so you know which it is Edsig blog post there you go just so you know which one it is for when you're doing split testing okay the thank you page I always go to the audio I like the fella's voice um, you don't need to change you already subscribed save web form go to step three okay and here's the code okay I will install my form and we're going to use the JavaScript okay so just highlight it right click copy now what we need to do is now upload the plugin from our desktop via FTP here's the plugin so we open up our FTP program okay I've got a desktop there let's come down and find the there is the AdSig plugin server reconnect okay now we need to find your WP content there it is down there click open that up plugins okay and that will now display in this box here all of your plugins okay so let me just come down there you can see I've already got it uploaded okay but all you would do is find it here on your desktop okay click it right click and upload okay that will place it into your um, plugin file 
once you've done that, server, disconnect, and now come to your admin panel, come to plugins, which is just down here, click plugins, okay, you will find it here, add SIG, yours will, will be um, inactive, so you'd need to click to activate it. Once you've activated it, scroll down, and under settings, you'll find DD add SIG, click there, and now here's the signature, okay. Now these will have other instructions in them, all of these boxes. I've deleted them all out of every one of them, okay, because I'm only using my primary signature. And in here I've got my image of my signature, which was this, the Barry there. Then I've got some text and then the opt-in box. So there's my signature. Here's my text. If you found this post useful, pop your details in the boxes, okay. And then here is where you paste in, yours obviously won't be there, but this is where you paste in your JavaScript from your web form, okay. Once you've done that, let me just click away from there. Once you've done that, scroll down, clear these other boxes, you don't need them, just take everything out of there, or you can leave it as it is, but I've taken everything out. Okay, now where do you want to display it? I don't display it on my index page because I've already got um, an opt-in form there. I display it on the post, so I check there. I don't want it on static pages, nor archives, nor search pages, okay? Click update options. Then go back to your blog, okay? Open up a post and see what you think, okay? Always enter a test and an email address and test it before before you do anything else really, just to make sure that it's all working. Okay, and that's it, it's as simple as that really. Thanks very much for watching, take good care. Okay, bye now.